Good morning. We are just packing up and getting ready to leave this Airbnb and we're gonna go to our new one. But we can't check into our new one for like four hours, so we're gonna have to find something to do. I think we're gonna try and go to a museum um, and see if they'll hold our bags for us because we have to take everything along for the ride. And Sean is just, well, he was taking photos because you should always take photos when you leave an Airbnb in case they try and blame you for something that you didn't do. We were just at the Jan Mateko, Mateko Museum. It's on Florianzis Street, the main drag. It's been preserved since he died in the late 1800s. It's like the first and oldest museum of someone's house who isn't like a king or a queen, I think. It's quite cool, it's got a lot of artifacts of uh, car coming. Uh, and a lot of his <laughs> paintings which are really, really good. He's really quite famous, obviously, for being an incredible artist. And some of them could have been pictures, they were so good. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend seeing that. It was 15 zlotys, so three pounds, five dollars. Definitely worth it. Now, hopefully we're gonna going to the Town Hall Museum. Really, we're just killing time. We've got three hours. And so I'm just trying to find ways to stay warm because it's a paltry three degrees today. <laughs> They've just started to put up the Christmas stuff. Christmas market season. Many other trees of that size. So, actually, yeah. Know. Hopefully, we get to see it before we go. Sean hates segways, hate and he won't ever do a segway tour with me. <laughs> so I'm not like very keen, but I would. How out of ten? I, how keen? Would you say you are? Like a six. So we just climbed to the top of this. through on the end. <laughs> Easily. It wasn't even difficult. Well, Jamie's over here complaining like an old lady. My back! <laughs> my, my back's actually really been hurting the last couple of days. My deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my ex bond. My deep veins from this is spondylitis. <laughs> anyway. All of my old person ailments. Um, I think that Sean's gonna take me to the Harry Potter cafe that they have here. Yes, I am. I'm also carrying Jamie's bag because she has a sore back, and I now know why she has a sore back. This thing is so unnet. Oh my god. It's not actually that. I woke no, no, up. Really my back, I woke up yesterday and it was sore, so it's nothing to do with my bag, but I'm carrying Sean's, it's and his is heavy as well. Than that. I haven't carried my backpack in a week, so my back has nothing to do with that. Don't listen to him. Anyways, we're gonna go find the cafe. Nineteen forty one. Some time when some <laughs> war took place, some number of a war. Uh, Sean was laughing because I said it was built in the forties at some well, point. So that's why he's laughing like that. It's time. It's been a long time coming. Sean's not having fun with my bag at all. Okay, so we're gonna go there then. And we actually bought some of the um every flavor beans from Harry Potter <laughs> from the cafe. And we'll try those when we get there as well. So we just got to our new Airbnb and it's very, very nice. I will show you how it looks. 
So we walk in here and this is a pull out sofa and this is our view out here it's very nice got our dining table sean has a little desk tv shano <laughs> and our kitchen it's quite nice we have an oven our fridge which i haven't looked in sean says that there's nothing but you know you can never be too sure there's nothing in there and we have the bathroom, which is very nice with washing. That's always good. And yeah, very nice big shower. But we're just gonna have some tea and then maybe go back out and explore some more. Explore some more. It's dark. It's not very good. Okay, so you have to fix it then. Done. You want to fix it? Not no. by what I'm doing. <laughs> that is worse. Yep. Go to menu. Action. <laughs> We're each going to try two of these beans, jelly beans from the Harry Potter place. Okay. So I'm going to go first. And we'll just try and guess what they taste like, okay? So I'm going to go with this one. I don't really know. It wasn't like the best, but it wasn't bad either. Have you ever had these? No. Are they Jelly Belly? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have this yellow one. I'm hoping it's just lemon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's like pea flavor or something. Like is it vomit, do you think? No. Bugger? No, I've tasted this before. It's uh, seen, no, it's... Ah! So I think it's... <laughs> Next one is orange. Oh, <laughs> I think it's gonna be bad. It kind of stinks. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> Yes, uh -uh. we have to. Uh-uh. Just do it quick. Oh, no, it's vomit. It's vomit. It's vomit. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Only one oh, that's the one I didn't want. <laughs> that's the one I didn't want. It's like peach colored with some freckles. It smells good. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. What I can't it? place it. It's like gravy. Is it bacon, do you think? No, no, good. Oh, this sucks so bad. <laughs> Why did you swallow it? Yes. Ew, I can smell it. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can literally smell it's it. It's my nostril. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my nostril, only one. Well, that was not a, very fun. I need a new face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Buongiorno. Buenos dias. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Bunsara. Romanian? I don't know. Gen dobre. Bonjour. Any more? I don't think so. It's the morning. It is a Sunday. Espresso. Jamie has the misfortune, I suppose you could say, of having to deal with espresso version of me because we had big cups of that and I can feel it coursing through my veins. I'm ready before she is as usual and uh, we're going to try and get to the Schindler Museum today because this is quite nearby. It's free on Sundays. Um, we just watched Schindler's List. I think it was the first time Jamie saw the film actually. Um, and so last night went for a walk back up in the Kashmir's and I uh, kind of did a bit of the Schindler List movie sightseeing tour so we saw some of the places where they shot the film. Um, some of them we've already seen, but it, I suppose it takes on a slightly different context once you've seen the film. I had a really cool dinner at, I think it was called uh, Polakovsky, maybe? I think it's a chain. We're going to go, it's almost like a connect the dots. We're gonna do Schindler's Factory first, uh, and then we're gonna go down to the 
there's a big mound called Krakus Mound, uh, which has some significance kind of prior to the medieval period here. And then the third point of our journey is the Plazov concentration camp, which is in Schindler's movie, of course, um, and just outside of Krakow. The whole journey from here to the concentration camp is only 35 minutes. All right, an undisclosed amount of time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> we're now ready. Got our scarves, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the road. Where are we going first? The Krakus Mound? Nope. Can we just appreciate how we missed this line? There was barely a line when we went in. Oh, so tell me what you thought. Well, it's more of a war, war museum. It's less to do with Schindler and the, his work than it is with anything else. But that being said, I mean, it's obviously so interesting and informative. Um, and there's some kind of interesting, uh, cool exhibits, I guess you could say. But yeah, I, I expected it to be a bit more about him and his exploits. Although I suppose if you want to see that, you can watch the movie, can't you? It's about a lot of things that the other museums say. It was kind of like repeating information a bit to me. And now we're going to Krakus Mound. Walk west towards Lipoa. incredible. <laughs> You're supposed to see like basically all of Krakow on this side here. This is the uh, old city quarry. There's machinery over there. I mean you can tell it's too foggy to really see in the other side but it's just like a sheer cliff face all around. Crazy. Yeah. So we've come to Poizov, the concentration camp that's just what's well, in Krakow. Um, it took us a little bit of a hike to get here, but it's like none of it is Still here. It's all just grass and trees now, but they have these signs all over that kind of Talk about it, but it just kind of looks Just like a meadow And there's a memorial or Yeah, memorial somewhere. So here's the Krakus man. That's where we just were. Yeah, and then we hiked. We walked down through here. So we are probably down here somewhere. Here's number 11. This is number 10. Oh, here's 10 here. We're right mm. here. Okay. So we've come all the way along down there. As if Auschwitz wasn't enough. I just goes to show that these things were absolutely everywhere. I mean, we were in Krakow, essentially. And this area is huge. Mm -hmm. We just got back from our day out and put on some washing, got some groceries. We went out to lunch actually, it was really good. We both got these um, like chili and rice bowls. It was really, really nice. And I think we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night. Uh, but we did get some cheeky chalkies and Mars milk. So it's gonna be my first time trying Mars milk. And got some chocolate bars. So we're just gonna watch movies and chill for the rest of the heat. This is the uh, wild Monday night dinner. Leftover curry from last night. And we got crackers and cheese with some grepis and some hummus. So, I hope these and, crackers aren't stale. Did you try them? No, this should be fine. <laughs> for, you know, and I guess probably anybody traveling um, and whew, trying to do it on a budget. It, especially being in Krakow for as long as we've been here, it becomes difficult as the nights go by uh, to resist the temptation to go out and um, go to dinner. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. Um, and especially when we're trying to keep to kind of a tight-ish kind of budget. Because um, we're not really on a holiday. We're kind of living. Uh -huh. I work hard at editing these videos. Yeah, that pays a lot. I made. <laughs> anyway, there is obviously the trade-off of you get to afford to do the other things you want to do. We've been here for three weeks, 
Um, and it's obviously it's a beautiful city. I really like it. Um, and it's just the two of us. We don't have any friends. We uh, each other. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So yeah, it comes a bit of a challenge to to make sure you're not kind of spending money on those unnecessary. Save that money for flights. Save that money for flights. But anyway, we're gonna have leftovers. And now we're gonna go out and try and find something to do. And try and keep it on the cheaper side of things. So we're just gonna grab probably some uh, glue vine, hot wine. It's a bit dark, but we're on our way for our mulled wine. The Christmas market isn't quite out yet, but it really does look really nice with all the little outdoor patios with their lights and her tang of that sort. Jamie, using her great skills of internet research, <laughs> <laughs> has found out when the Christmas market goes up. And when is it, Jamie? Tell Thursday. Thursday. It is now Monday. Monday.